Hi guys. Hello. <laughs> We're gonna try this. Uh, we got a Remington here today. Uh, kids are out deer hunting. This is deer season. So they're out doing that now. So we've got the little one, but we've got a study. We got a, some references to put together and, and it come out beautifully. And we want to share that with you. So we'll see how it comes out. We'll see if if she'll let us do this. But we got Aquanauts playing in the background. I don't know if we get... Uh, you. It ought to go. We'll try it and see. Anybody that has grandkids <laughs> knows what Aquanauts is. So Yeah, anyway. we got something playing in it's the background. It's educational, but, you know, it's, it's, it's dumb. <laughs> hey, she's not in here. I know. Let me turn it down a little bit. Talk to folks here for a second. I want to see oh. Turn it down just a bit. <sighs> see how we do. I'm supposed to talk to you. I don't know what I'm going to talk to you about. Hmm. <laughs> a little life, maybe. Let's move on. Uh, I had a rough night. Yeah, it's been a I knocked yeah. myself out and caused myself to have a hangover. We this use uh, that lettuce. Yeah. We have it's a lot of people call it a weed, but it's uh, it's called wild lettuce. It grows all over the United States, and uh, our daughter will uh, makes a tincture. You make a tincture out of it and use it for. It's kind of like a pain. Release some pain and helps you sleep. Different things like that. This tincture is made with vodka. It's used to. It's you got to pull the nutrients out of that, and you this one. You got to pull the the painkiller that's in there. Yeah, so we make tinctures out of a lot of things, and uh, so anyway, <laughs> let's see what we got here. And, Rough night. And and this here for uh, Rough morning. We're looking today, we're looking at, let's see what our verse is, Ephesians 2, verse 12, being alienated. So, let's yeah, see how this so. come together. You ready? Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> all right. Hi to all the dear brothers and sisters chosen by the happy God. Looking into God's celestial purpose by John Essex, page 81, we read in part that the nations were alienated from the citizenship of Israel. Divine intervention was needed before Peter could accept the fact that God was about to bless the Gentiles along with his own people. The nations were only guests of the promised covenant, having no expectation and without God in the world. Yeah. The word guests means lodger. What's that exon in Greek? I guess that means lodger in Greek. E-X in the way. Exion. Exion in Greek. Maybe. Exenon. <laughs> I don't know. It applies to one who is lodging as a guest or stranger in another family while away from home. The nations were outside of the family of Israel and consequently had no expectation since all the promises from the time of Abraham onward had been made to Israel. Their promises, their promise will be fulfilled here on earth the kingdom set up in the new jerusalem our kingdom as the body of christ have been given a celestial kingdom our allotment is in christ jesus our lord yeah the phrase without god <clears throat> in greek is atheos from where we get the word atheist and that's something it is only used this one time in the greek scriptures contrast to having no expectation and without God in the world with the status of Israel at the, at the time who is his sonship and his glory and the covenants and the legislation and the divine service and the promises whose are the fathers out of whom is the Christ according to the flesh who is over all be God be blessed for the eons that's Romans 9 verse 4 and 5 but now, God proposes to effect a change yep. from the law into grace so that believers out of Israel 
and those from among the nations shall shed their distinctions between Jew and Greek and enjoy the same blessings and share the same expectation. Through both, the blessings and the expectations will be far more lofty and far more glorious <laughs> than those previously enjoyed yeah. by Israel in respect of the kingdom. In the next few verses down from Ephesians 2.12, all distinctions are nullified. All divisions destroyed and a new humanity is in, is created in which no disunion exists. Now imagine that. So we're going to, of course, we'll go down through every verse and, and we'll bring these truths out as, as we come to them. So Ephesians 2.12 says, reads that you were in that era apart from Christ, being alienated from the citizenship of Israel and guests of the promised covenants having no expectation and without God in the world. Colossians 1, 3 through 6, we are thanking the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, always praying concerning you on hearing of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love which you have for all the saints because of the expectation reserved for you in the heavens, which you heard before in the word of truth of the evangel, which being present with you according as in the entire world also is bearing fruit and growing according as it is among you also from the day on which you you hear and realize the grace of God in truth <laughs> you know we're growing in this thing together it's just amazing you know we don't know Marsh now we don't know it all we're growing I don't know nothing and we are learning you know which is the process I learn something new every day, and I still don't know nothing. Oh, we just we're just <laughs> excited for what's coming through. It's amazing. Colossians 1, 21 through twenty eight, right? And you, being estranged and enemies in comprehension by wicked acts, yet now he reconciles by his body of flesh through his death to present you holy and flawless and unimpeachable in his sight. <laughs> Since surely you are persisting in the faith, grounded and settled, and are not being removed from the expectation of the evangel, which you hear, which is being heralded in the entire creation, which is under heaven, of which I, Paul, became the dispenser. I am now <laughs> rejoicing in my sufferings for you, and I am filling up my flesh. I don't know if I'm rejoicing or not suffering. I'm telling you right now, they're getting pretty rough. <laughs> <coughs> I know it's Paul saying it, but I, yeah, I well, read it as myself. It's how we how we will perceive it. You know, yeah. How we perceive it. In his stead, the deficiencies of the afflictions of Christ for his body, which is the ecclesia, of which I become a dispenser in accord with the administration of God, which is granted to me for you to complete the word of God, the secret which has been concealed from the eons and from the generations, yet now has been made manifest to his saints. To whom God wills to make known what are the glorious riches of the secret among the nations, which is Christ among you, the expectation of glory. <laughs> whom we are announcing, admonishing every man, and teaching every man in all wisdom that we should be presenting every man mature in Christ Jesus. Ephesians four seventeen and 18. This, then... <laughs> are you going to be good? I'm trying. That's good. I am saying and attesting <laughs> in the Lord. By no means are you... Are you still to be walking according to those of the nations who are also walking in the vanity of their mind their comprehension being darkened being estranged, estranged from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them because of the callousness of their hearts yeah. Galatians three, thirteen through 18 Christ reclaims us from the curse of the law becoming a curse for our sakes he did that on the cross for our sakes. For it is written, Accursed is everyone hanging on a pole, that the blessing of Abraham may be coming to the nations in Christ Jesus. 
that we may be obtaining the promise of the Spirit through faith. Brethren, I am saying this as a man, a human covenant likewise having been ratified, no one is repudiating, repudiating, or modifying, repudiating. or modifying it. Now to Abraham the promises were declared, and to his seed, he is not saying, and to seeds as of many, but as of one, and to your seed which is Christ. Now this I am saying, a covenant having been ratified before God, the law having come 430 years forward, afterward does not invalidate. So as to nullify the promise. Hold on, I'm going to go back here. Now as I am saying, a covenant having been ratified before God, the law having come 430 years afterward does not invalidate. So as to nullify the promise. For if the enjoyment of the allotment is of law, it is no longer a promise. Mm -hmm. Yet God has graciously granted it to Abraham through the promise. Through the promise. Galatians 4, 8 and 9. But then indeed, having no perception of God, you are slaves of those who by nature are not gods. Yet now, knowing God, rather than being known by God, how are you turning back again to the infirm and poor elements for which you want you were or which you want to <laughs> slave again anew? Why are you going to go back like a dog returns to its vomit? You know? <laughs> anew means from the very first. Romans one twenty eight <laughs> thirty two and according as they do not test God to have him in recon in recognition, God gives him over to a disqualified mind to do that which is not befitting, filled with all injustice, wickedness, evil, greed, distended with envy, murder, strife, guile, depravity, whisperers, vilifiers, vilifiers, detesters of God, outragers, proud, ostentatious, inventors of evil things, stubborn to parents, unintelligent, perfidious, without natural affection, implacable and unmerciful that's all the uh, the flesh and stuff isn't it yeah that's all that's a nasty stuff yeah those who recognizing the just statue of god that those committing such things are deserving deserving death not only are doing them but are endorsing them also those who are committing them first thessalonians 4 1 through 8 for the rest then brethren we are asking you and entreating the lord jesus that according as you accepted from us how you must be walking and pleasing God, according as you are walking also, that you may be superbounding yet more. For you are aware that charges we give to you through the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. For this is the will of God, your holiness. You are to be abstaining from all prostitution. Each of you is to be acquiring his own vessel, to be acquiring it in holiness and honor not lustful passion even as the nations also who are not acquainted with god no one is to be circumventing and overreaching his brother in the matter because the lord of the is the avenger of all these according as we said to you before also and certify for god calls us not for uncleanliness but in holiness yeah uncleanliness is the fleshly desires mm -hmm. surely he surely in consequence then he who is repudiating, 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 is not repudiating God, a uh, man, but God, who has also given His Holy Spirit to you. I did run up a bell. It's got an angel hand. Sorry. Oh. Second Thessalonians two thirteen and seventeen. You want me to scratch your belly for you? I'm good. Oh. Dang. <laughs> now we ought to be thanking God always concerning you, brethren beloved by the Lord, seeing that God prefers you from the beginning for salvation, in holiness of the Spirit and faith in the truth, and to which he also calls us through our evangel, for the procuring of the glory of our <laughs> Lord. Yeah. Oh, you're good, the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I get That's exciting. He calls us into that. <laughs> to me, that's consequently then, brother, stand firm. And hold to the traditions which were taught by us, 
whether through word or our epistle. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who loves us and has given us an Ionian consolation and a good expectation of grace be consoling your hearts and establish you in every good work and word. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Man, I tell that's Second Thessalonians 2, 13 through 17. Wow. <laughs> you okay now? That's good. Oh yeah, I'm good. Alright. Yep. <laughs> First Corinthians 8, 6. Nevertheless, for us there is one God, the Father, out of whom all is, and we for him, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all is, and we through him. <laughs> Those are the references we found for, uh, what was it, Ephesians 2, 12, wasn't it? I think so. Let's climb back up there and look I at that. Know about yeah, for Ephesians 2, 12. That, those are the references we found for it. Now, going through this study, this passage of Scripture brings out this for us today. It says, Now, to him who is able to do super excessively above all that we are all requesting or apprehending, according to the power that is operating in us. To him be glory in the Ecclesia and in Christ Jesus for all the generations of the eon of the eons. Amen. Ephesians 3, 20 and 21. <laughs> that is so awesome. Oh, I hear a little girl. That is perfect. That is perfect. So, anyway. She we, was good this whole time. Yeah, she's done really good. I'm... I'm Really glad, 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 glad uh, happy, happy. If you're happy, then you know it. Slap your hands. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> we love you guys. Yes, we Thanks do. for putting up with us. You know, we we <laughs> we enjoy coming out and doing these. We're going to do a video on uh, see if we can tell some of Marsha's story sometime. I'm not sure we're going to do that, but it'll be neat to hear. Because um, I don't know that I know it. I know some of it, but uh, we've all got a story. Like God it. has pulled us into this where we're at today, and we by looking back we can see where the where it turned. Where it says, "Drink, okay, here's your calling," and He pulls us into this into the. I don't have a calling. Oh, you was called into this. Well, he I was, was chosen into this, you. But I don't have a calling. Oh, you just wait. It's you it's when you see it. When you see your calling is to be doing this. You have a calling, and you don't. But to understand that, man, we look back and see when he turned the lights on. You know, he left the lights on for us. Well, this is it. We are these. We are to be a light. <laughs> so it's just amazing. Yeah. But anyway, it's time to go see what God's got for us. Yeah. And uh, we love you guys. We love you too. Yeah, we really do. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yes, thank you. Grace, peace, and much love to all. And uh, we'll, we'll catch you tomorrow. Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. All right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll see you later. Or I don't have two deer to put up. Or we don't have deer meat to put up. Oh, we'll get it up. We'll get this. We'll sneak in to get this one done. Because tomorrow, <laughs> it's another good one. <laughs> 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 uh, we'll see you then. Bye.